We have a brick placed in a water holding tank in a toilet to conserve water. The brick is two and a quarter inches by three and three quarters inches and eight inches long. How much water is saved in 500 uh, flushes? Assume that one cubic inch can hold this much of a gallon. Okay, so we have a brick, right? A brick is a rectangle. So we just need to find the volume of that rectangle because that's how much we're taking out of it. So that's how much is going to be saved theoretically each time. So the volume of a rectangular is just length times width times height. So in this case, it is 2.25 times 3.75 times 8. Now, I changed these to decimals. And the reason I did that is it's going to be easier to put into my calculator. And these are pretty easy decimals to convert in your head, right? We're going to get this answer, okay? And then we are going to times that by our 0 0.00433 to find out how many gallons we're saving well, after we do 500. So I'm going to find the right screen here. Okay, so not sure what it's doing. Hopefully it didn't do anything crazy. Okay, so I'm going to come here. So I got 2.25 times 3.75 times 8. So that's how many cubic inches in one flush, but I'm going to do this 500 times, okay? So I've saved 33,750 cubic inches, but I need to know that to gallons. So I'm going to times it by 0 0.00433, and I get 146.13 gallons. So again, depending on what it asked you to, but I'd probably say 146 gallons because that seems like something worth just rounding to. So hopefully this helps you with this process. A lot of it's just knowing the formulas in this one. This one's a formula most of us know. And then kind of thinking through the different pieces that go into this. So this was 500 flushes, so I figure out 1 times it by 500. And then I'm doing that conversion from cubic inches into gallons.